It was a fight, a struggle. A saga of sacrifice and non-violence. A moment comes, which comes but rarely in history, when we step from the old to the new. India discovers herself again with the words of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Yes, the journey of a modern India had begun. True to Indian spirit, Karnataka was indeed blessed and fortunate to blossom on the spiritual bedrock. Sri Siddha Ganga Mart, epitome of kindness. Equality, dignity of labor. Here shines the divine light of 12th century spiritual and social revolution, heralded by Shiva Sharanas and the Vachna movement. <laughs> With a rich history and under the divine guidance and noble services of holy Swamiji's, Siddha Ganga Mart has been the center of Anna. Nana Dharma Dasura Ambuja ke bhanu vina Ambuja ke bhanu vina Udaya da On the 1st of April 1908 a noble spiritual soul was born and went on to become an iconic legendary personality who transformed the very course of history of Sri Siddha Ganga As an intelligent and bright student, he excelled in academics. Year 1930, he was pursuing undergraduate studies in science with mathematics as a major at Central College Bangalore. Then came a divine call. As per the wishes of his guru, joined the holy order of Sri Siddha Ganga Mart at the young age of 23 years. And this stroke of destiny was indeed a blessing to this land. We are yet to see a profound spiritual personality, His Holiness Karnataka Ratna, Dr. Sri Sri Shivakumara Mahaswami Galo. I implore everyone through this documentary to give this opportunity to their children to come and see him. Not because of his age, but that kind of commitment, I think, it's, uh, it is not human, it is divine. 
uh, it is beyond a human capability. He lives completely by the philosophy of Basveshwara. We all read, we all sing, we all appreciate and that is the end of it. But here is a person who lives every moment of his life by the philosophy that he practices and preaches. His commitment not just to the institution or mutt, but being born as a human being, I think he has more than fulfilled his duty and purpose on earth. The fact that he was teaching in the institution at the age of 95 or 98 one is his passion for teaching, his passion and commitment to children at the institution, but beyond that was his commitment that he should earn his livelihood. I think that is a huge lesson that uh, we all need to pay attention to. What he felt children miss in the institution is the motherly care, the maternal tenderness that a home gives is what they miss when they come to an institution. So he more than tried to fulfill that, that these children don't miss their mother, their maternal home. So he is a Vishwamanava. He is an incarnation of Shiva himself. I live on the blessings of Guruji. stomachs won't understand religion or philosophy inspired by these words of Swami Vivekananda His Holiness went on providing free food shelter and education to thousands and thousands of students irrespective of caste creed or religion The grand age of 106, the life and achievements of His Holiness are unparalleled in the history of mankind. This is a spiritual center that caters to humanity and not sects. So the Ganga Mutt has no parallels in the saga of education. True to the blessings of Sri Atavi Swamiji, the oven of Siddha Ganga Mutt has been uninterruptedly lit for over a century, continues to be the source of solace and hope for thousands of hungry souls.
Every day, 10,000 students from over 121 communities and many more thousands of devotees receive prasada at the mark. Bhava Mochaka Bhagavata Shastra Va Amanisha Ge Perdavani Nalla Veshivani Shivani Naninna Sevakaniya this requires 4,000 kgs of rice, 800 kgs of ragi, 700 kgs of rava, 200 kgs of dal, 200 kgs of oil and 400 kgs of vegetables, 150 kgs of spices and 500 liters of milk every day. These Raki balls have been the source of strength for handling the future of lakhs of students over the last 100 years. No one goes back hungry from Siddha Ganga. During Jatra and Guru Vandana celebrations, lakhs of devotees reverentially enjoy and relish the Mahaprasada. The rustic, authentic taste remains on the tongue for days. 31st of March 1988, His Holiness initiated Diksha and inducted Sri Siddhalinga Swamiji to Virakta Ashrama. Shiva Bhakta Reginta Hiriya Rilla Shiva Bhakta Reginta Hiriya Rilla Yena Ginta Wounded under the legendary spiritual icon, he has been providing inspiring leadership in serving humanity. Yena Ginta Hiriya Rilla Yena Ginta Hiriya Rilla Shiva Bhakta Reginta Hiriya Rilla Shiva Bhakta Reginta Hiriya Rilla Shri Siddha Ganga Education Society, founded by His Holiness, comprised with men of vision, commitment and service-mindedness. Their goal was to light the lamp of knowledge at all levels. Today, 131 institutions a strong force of 2,500 dedicated staff, 76 crores of annual expenditure is shaping the future of over 50,000 students every year. Under the divine guidance of His Holiness, Sri Siddhanga Education Society heralded a new era of awareness providing quality education to rural students and girls in particular has been our objective. Today with over 130 institutions and with the robust strength of 2,500 teachers, every year we shape the dreams of 45,000 students. During the first decade of Indian independence, he provided a paradigm shift and started working towards establishing an Institute of Technology. A noble philanthropist, Sri M. V. Shivappa donated 45 acres of land in the year 1963. SIT was started. Paramapuja Swamiji was 56 years old then. It all started here, in this building. Now, the physics and chemistry block was the first construction which housed civil, mechanical and electrical branches with an intake 
of 120. Yes, this is the corridor of fame where 30,000 plus students have walked their glories as full-fledged technocrats.